Chris Martin here, Elkhart Brass, Municipal Product Manager. Just to do a quick review, show you what's changed with our XD product line. So, this is our legacy product, our chief nozzles, really popular, kind of the industry standard for toughness, mostly unchanged since the mid 90s. Our new redesigned Chief XD has a lot of those improvements that firefighters have told us over the years, um, how we could improve it, um, and we made those changes. So to start, it's now a forged aluminum bail handle. So I guess the best reference I give guys is, they know a pro bar is the gold standard for halogen bar because it's forged. Now our bail handle is the same way. Our other one was a cast aluminum bronze mix. It's a tad bit narrower, so it fits in a single stack. Uh, cross lay if that's how you run your lines a little bit easier but you can still get a gloved hand in there with no problem. One of the feedbacks we'd always get over the years is these screws would, would ground down or back out. We've reinforced that whole part here so it's very robust there's nothing like that that can happen now. Um, it's a forged body full round ball. We've taken some stuff to um, uh, we redesigned our seat material to basically make sure you don't get that click anymore and it's totally centered in the waterway. So it's going to give you really good stream quality out of it. Um, we've gotten rid of all of the decals. Okay, so there's no more labels on here. Everything's laser etched. These start to peel or scratch over time uh, and that becomes an issue. The other thing is stainless steel spinning teeth versus plastic spinning teeth. So those would be a little more, more robust. We also have fixed teeth as an option. Um, on the handles themselves, these grip insets, it's the same material that the bumper's made out of. These can be color coded to your liking. So if you want a blue, yellow, instead of having to change out the whole handle, now you would just have the grip insets here. So, so far, uh, good feedback and we're really excited to finally get this thing out. Um, if you remember last year, we had some prototypes at the show. We got some feedback that they were a little heavy. So instead of rushing the market and getting them out, we, we kind of took a step back and make sure we got it right. And by doing that, that bought us some time to get some of this other stuff released. A redesigned shutoff and smooth bore. So the shutoff portion from the Chief is now integrated into the shutoff that we, we're now calling our XD shutoff. So again, forged aluminum bail handle, full round metal ball, really easy operation all the way throughout. Over the last four months or so, we've had about 30 of these Chief nozzles in beta test across the country. Really some really busy engine companies from Seattle to Oakland to Denver, um, Houston, Kentland, uh, Baltimore, uh, you name it, they've been all over the place. And uh, they've caught a lot of work and, and, and that's a really part of kind of validating of what we're putting out there that know it's gonna last because it's got our name on it. The other thing that we've changed, I should say we have changed but we brought back, is we brought back the shorty with the bumper. Oh, okay. So we always had the long tip with the bumper um, a lot of guys like that look. They like the protective bumper. Now this is, is the same length as our standard uh, shorty, which is four and a half inches, now with the bumper included. So right there, that seven eighths. Uh, we made the fonts a little bit larger, so it's easier to read. It's on both sides, so when it's screwed on the tip, you can see it from both angles. And then also the base flow at the 50 PSI is on here. Because most of the time, uh, many guys will struggle with what exactly they flow when they just see the, the discharge size. And if you look how our display is laid out, here we have a 7 8 15 16 1 inch, an inch and an eighth. On the other side, we have the matching fogs with them. So if we look at the, uh, the stems here, this is a 160 at 50, a 185 at 50, a 210 at 50, and a 265 at 50. So now, so say you're running uh, one cross lay smoothbore, one cross lay fog in the past. Say you ran a seven eighths and a one fifty at fifty. Now your now your flows are going to match. So that ten gallon a minute um, difference makes it easier, makes it simpler on the fire ground. That's what we're trying to do here. So uh, we're living in some options. We're getting down, and uh, we're really excited about uh, getting this thing out to the market. If you want to follow me over here? These are all the different configurations of the chief. So, I would say big ones, little ones, fixed teeth, pistol grip, no pistol grip. This is a break apart, which is really the common combination. We really re over reduced the overall size of the tip. So this is really giving you a nice compact package. 15 16 on this particular one. And really, if you look here, this is the difference between a break apart and a one piece body. So 
really, uh, really a little bit streamlined there. Um, and uh, we're excited about how it came out. They're showing the option between the fixed teeth and the spinning teeth. But all those little things over the years of, hey, this thing's really good, but could you do this? Could you do that? Have all been in here along with the aesthetic refresh. So, so to find out more information about the, the XD product lineup, you can go to our website, elkartbrass.com. Um, we have this new uh, product lineup brochure. And basically in here it has all the specs, it's got all the available flow rates, list pricing, options, along with the shutoffs, and the smoothbore tips. We also now have a configurator tool with these. So it's xdconfigurator.com, and if you go to that, you can literally do drop-down boxes and kind of build your own chief nozzle. So you can put your colors in there, grip, no grip, and then that'll even give you the list price and the, uh, the S number uh, of what to order off of. That can be exported. Um, to provide your dealer so you know exactly what you're getting so there's no more miscommunication with what you want. Um, so please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, make sure you're checking out Brass Tacks and Hard Facts. Uh, we have about three or, four mo three or four more videos to go and then kind of season one's wrapped up. So you'll be able to find all those will be kind of archived at BrassTacksHardFacts.com. So if you go to that site, they're all there, they all live there. They can be linked and downloaded from Vimeo. We encourage you to share them, download them, use it in your presentations. That's what it's for. Is it's a training resource for everybody out there doing injury work. We appreciate everyone making the push, and we're all in this together. Thanks.